Okay, so this video is about uh, solving for uh, currents, voltages, and resistances in a complex circuit. Um, these are the equations. I better switch to pen. Um, these are the equations to find each of these. I is current, so current equals the voltage over the resistance. Voltage is current times resistance, and resistance is voltage times current. Two things to keep in mind. In a series circuit, the current stays the same. In a parallel, the voltage stays the same. That's important. Remember that. Okay. When we look at this... You think, whoa, I'm just kidding. Um, you see that this is a parallel circuit. To solve for resistance in a parallel circuit, you do I over the resistance. Or that's not I, I'm sorry, that's a one. Um, the total resistance is equal to I... Well, I don't know why I keep saying I, that's a 1, over uh, is the inverse, which is the same as 1 over uh, R1 plus the inverse, or 1 over R2, and so on and so forth. That's supposed to be an ellipses. All right. Um, okay. So, um... Let's solve for it then. On your calculator, there's a button. It's a wonderful button. And it looks like this. Well, it looks better than this, but this is the closest I can get to it. And um, it just means the inverse of the number. It saves you the trouble of having to uh, punch in 1 over a number. It's above the x squared button. Okay, so for to get the total resistance in this little piece of the circuit, you do the inverse of 37 plus the inverse of 45. Excuse the handwriting. Okay. And um, when you punch that into your calculator, you get uh, 0.04924924924, and I'm sure it continues, but that's unimportant. Um, you do the inverse of that number to get rid of the 1 over the RT, so we're going to do inverse of answer. 21 point, or sorry, 20 point, oops, okay, whatever, 20.3, and that is this little piece right here. Um, now that is part of this whole circuit. Now, if you look at this, these are in series, these are in series, and these, oh, I'm uh, <laughs> sorry, these are parallel. So we said that um, to solve for parallel, you do the inverse, but to uh, finding the resistance in a series is much easier. You just add them. So, 20.3 plus 75, let's do some mental math here, 95, okay, well that's a 5, Point three ohms. Remember, everything, when you're talking about, res like, resistances are always in ohms. Don't forget your, um, don't forget your labels. Your teacher will take points off for it. I've learned that the hard way. So, that is this. This is, uh, 49 plus 51. That is 100. 
that looks like a six. One, oh, okay. One hundred ohms. Oh, that's a good ohm. Okay, and then um, since these two are in parallel, you can't just add them. You have to do the inverse of them and add them together. And then you have to do the inverse of the answer you get. So 100 inverse plus 95.3 inverse equals, you should get 0 0.0204, continuing. Um, you need to do the inverse of that, and you get 48.79. So we'll just round that up to 48.79. Okay, ohms. Um, scroll down a little bit. Okay, so the resistance of this entire thing is okay. That went farther than I should have. What is forty-eight point eight ohms? Now, if you look at this as just one resistance, you see that it's in series with this resistance. Um. So what you do is you just add them together because it's a series. It has satting. And you do this and you make it legible. Let's scroll down a little bit so you can see that. And you add eight and this eight and oops. So you get 128.8 ohms. There, that is the total resistance of, okay, that's, that's beautiful, 128.8 eight ohms that doesn't look like an ohm but that's okay okay so there we go that is the total resistance we're done with all this let me clear the board clear the board sorry um okay so now that we have the total oh no i erased something now that we have um, the total resistance, we can solve for something else. Um, we need to look at what we have. We have, there you go, um, we have a voltage, yes. Okay, so we have the uh, total voltage, we have the total resistance, we can solve for the total current. IT equals V, oh, you know what, we have VT, is 120 V over 128 point eight ohms. That was a good ohm. Okay, when you put that in your calculator, you get eight. Where did my... Okay. You get that current. The current is point nine three one and uh current is in amps there we have successfully and somewhat painlessly solved for the rt and the i the total resistance 
and each of the resistances and um, the total current given the total voltage. Um, I hope that helped. Um, and yeah, I hope that you and I both pass our physics class. Thank you for watching this video.